Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to keep things quick. We are going to look at how to enable autoplay on your YouTube embedded videos. Now, I see this question pop up all of the time and part of the reason is because YouTube has sort of changed how this works over time. So here, this video in 2023, we are going to talk about how you get this working. Now, this actually applies whether you're using WordPress or Squarespace or Wix or a custom built site or anywhere that you're trying to embed this so it is not specific to WordPress but given the name of this channel you're going to see me using the Cornerstone Builder and WordPress to do this but that part doesn't matter the same principles stand true so let's see what we're doing here we're gonna click on the share button on one of my videos here and we're gonna go ahead and click on embed and the first thing you'll notice is that we get this big iframe code here with a bunch of stuff inside it doesn't really matter what's in there we're gonna go ahead and copy that and then we'll jump into our handy dandy cornerstone builder here. Now I already have an HTML element right here. So I'm just going to pop in my HTML and actually just to make this even more readable, I'm going to jump into the raw here and we'll go ahead and put in our iframe code. And the first thing that you'll notice is that we have a source URL right here. Now, within that source URL, you used to be able to simply add an additional parameter. So the parameters start after this question mark here. So to append another parameter, we can simply add an ampersand and autoplay equals one. And on the back end here, it's going to look like it works exactly how we want. It just starts autoplaying. But if we go ahead and save this here and we jump over to our page here where we've added this HTML and we go ahead and refresh that page. You'll notice that our video loads up, but there is no autoplay. I still have to click this button for the video to actually autoplay. So let's jump over to the back end. There's another thing that we need to make sure is here, and that is that we are allowing autoplay. So we want to look right here, and YouTube should already have this enabled by default in the iframe, but you do want to make sure that it says allow equals, and within this here, autoplay should be one of the things that is allowed. So if that is already there, then you're thinking to yourself, well, yeah, of course, this should be working. But there is one more thing that we need to add. So in addition to our autoplay equals one, we are going to add one more parameter. So we're going to add ampersand, and this is for the muted parameter. So we're going to type in mute equals one. So YouTube doesn't want these videos to be intrusive. And so if you mute the video and have autoplay enabled, then this should work on the front end of our site. So let's go ahead and save our changes there. Jump over to the front end of the site and refresh our page. And now with the video muted and autoplay set to one, things are working perfectly. Now, one more little bonus tip, you can actually jump back into that iframe and you can add one more parameter, which is an ampersand start equals, and then you add a start time in seconds. So we could say start at 120 seconds, which is the two minute mark. And now when we save this and we jump over to the front end and we refresh, not only is it going to autoplay and not only is it muted, but it's automatically starting at the two minute mark in our video. And you can even take it one step further and get even more sophisticated. If you're using a tool like the Cornerstone Builder or anything similar, you could add in dynamic content here so that whatever you type into this start time automatically applies. So we could delete this here and in Cornerstone, I could go parameter and we grab a query string parameter and we're going to make something up. Let's just say start and we'll add that here now it's going to check our current url for a start time well what does that mean well if i go ahead and save this now and i jump back over here and i refresh the video is going to autoplay from zero seconds so from the beginning because there's nothing in the url but if i jump into the url on the current page and i add in question mark start equals 120 now it's going to automatically start at the two minute mark if i add in start time equals 240 it's going to automatically start at the four minute mark. So I'm able to control where this video starts by the current pages parameters. So as you can see, there is a lot of power in adding parameters to the source URL in your YouTube iframe embed codes. As always, if you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I look forward to seeing the things that you guys are working on, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.